Hi, hello. My name is Jade and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I decided that I wanted to do a story time. I don't think I've ever done a story time on this channel before, so I wanted to do one today. So there's, we need to do a disclaimer before I do this, uh, before I tell you this story. What I did was wrong. Okay, not, I don't know if it was wrong, but don't do it. <laughs> don't do what I did in this story because it was kind of stupid. But today's story is the time I got into a fight with a cop. Yes, I did get into a fight with a cop one time. Sorry, there's something in my eye. And it was done. I didn't get a ticket and I didn't get in trouble, but still don't do it. Don't do what I did, but here's the story. It was like 2019, I think, so I was around 21. So I was driving home from work. I'd worked a 16 hour shift and I work overnights. So my shift was two shifts technically. So I'd work the evening shift and the night shift. So I was coming home and it was like 6.30 to 7 a.m. And it was kind of foggy out and it was, it was light. So I know it wasn't winter time, but it was foggy. And so a little bit about where, you know, I live or where I lived. My job was out of town, like way out of town. So you had to drive into town and then back out of town because where I lived at the time, I lived out of town the other side. So it was super early in the morning. I just worked a 16 hour shift and I had to go back for a 12 hour shift and not too long. So I was really tired. I was exhausted and you know my coworkers showed up late. They always did. But anyways, so you guys know I'm short, right? I'm short. So when I'm driving and it's bright outside and my, you know, visor isn't like low enough, I sit up like this to try to see. And if you've driven in the morning when it's foggy and your like window's not super clean, you know that it's pretty hard to see through because the light just goes all over. It doesn't just go through one little spot. It just like refracts kind of all over your window. And that's what I was struggling with that day. My car was super, super, super old. Um, I had a little Ford Escort. I don't know what year it was. There's kind of a long story behind why I got that car, but technically it was given to me by a, like one of the people I caregived for. Not at the place that I worked at, it was like a first caregiving job I had other than my grandpa. Like my boyfriend's grandpa, I took care of him. And that's actually how I started getting into caregiving. Well, again, was I took care of him, but yeah, it was his old car, like my boyfriend's grandpa's old car that he used to drive all the time. And when he passed away, they gave it to me. Not really, it wasn't really free. <laughs> There's kind of a little bit of a story. I bought two cars from this boyfriend and both the cars were absolutely horrible. The first one, I don't really exactly remember what happened to the first one, but I know that it didn't have any AC, it didn't have a heater, and it didn't have a radio. And trust us, trust me, we tried to put a radio in. We, like the people that I was with, the, pers the person I was dating <laughs> was the son of a mechanic and the mechanic couldn't even figure out why we couldn't get it in. So. I don't remember what happened to that car, but after that car, he had another car that he was like, hey, this is good, I'll sell it to you. So he sold it to me, and the brakes went out. Yeah. And he didn't believe me. He did not believe me that I was like, hey, there's no brakes in this car. He's like, no, I don't believe you. There's got to be brakes in it. So I was like, listen, there's no brakes. I don't feel comfortable driving it. So I left it up at that guy's house that I was taking care of. His name was Joe. And then his brother came and checked on the car, and he's like, there's really no brakes in this. She wasn't lying to you. So, because I bought two really bad cars from him and I paid for both, his family decided to give me his grandpa's car. His grandpa wanted me to have it anyways, but um, like I wasn't just gonna take it for free. So technically, my boyfriend paid for the title and then they gave it to me because I didn't have a car because he sold me two really bad cars. Long story longer, that's just to explain why the window was so bad. And yes, I cleaned it multiple times, but still, it was super bad. So I was driving home. I was going up a hill at this point because I was just coming out of town to go home. I was on my way home and I had just passed through town. I'm going out of town and there was this hill. And so I'm driving up this hill and the sun is like straight 
on my windshield. So I'm driving like this because I'm trying to be able to see the lines because there's two lines obviously and I didn't want to go out of my lines and I was like if I follow the lines I'll be fine because I could still like see the road a little bit but I was mostly wanting to stay in the lines because you know you're supposed to but a cop and another car were passing me on this other side and I knew the second that cop car passed I knew he's gonna pull me over so I kind of slowed down and found a spot that uh was big enough for me to pull over so this road um had like a ditch kind of on the side on both sides that was like gravel so like you wouldn't wreck terribly if you went over it but like you'd get stuck it would be bad so that's on the side so i had to go up a little bit he did flip a ue real quick and come chase me chase me he didn't chase me he just like followed me and pulled me over so he pulled me over he comes up to the window he's like do you know why i pulled you over and i'm like i have no idea no what and he's like where are you going and i was like i just got off a 16 hour shift i'm going home i'm <laughs> really tired he's like i pulled you over because you slightly went over the white line or you were close to going over the white line and i was like i'm sorry i was trying to make sure that you know i wasn't too close to the yellow line and too close to your guys's cars like the cop car and the other car and he's like well you are on your phone and i was like no, I, I wasn't on my phone. I couldn't see because the window, you know, I was like, you live here, you live in this town, you know how, like, the sun is in the morning, especially when it's foggy and you don't have a very, like, clean window. I was like, I was not on my phone. I was trying to make sure I stayed in the lines and could see I'm short. And I like, I was like, can I show you what it looks like with my visor down? And he's like, yeah. So I put it down. And I was like, see, it comes straight up my eyes. So I had to like sit up like that. And he's like, no. I don't believe you, you were on your phone, I saw you. And I was like, I, I fought with the man. I fought with the cop. I was like, no, I wasn't on my phone. He's like, yes, you were, I saw you. And I was like, no, I wasn't. I was so tired, I was so mad. I just kept fighting with him. He's like, you can't fight with me. I know you were on your phone. And I was like, no, I was not. I don't have my phone on me right now. He's like, I bet if you st were to stand up right now, I would check your pockets and you, didn't, you wouldn't have your phone. I just kind of looked at him and I was like, don't you need my license and registration? He's like, yes. And I was like, okay, can I grab my purse? Because it was on the floor in the passenger side. Now a little bit about my purse is um, it had a zipper, it had a button, and it also had a clasp. And I always put all three on. Sounds a little ridiculous, but I did. So I opened my bag, and it was on my lap. I opened my bag, it's on my lap, and there's a, like, it was kind of like a backpack, but a really small one. So there's like a little pocket in the back that I w would slide my phone in. It's not a deep pocket, it just like, kept it from falling around and going on the bottom of my purse but I always slid it into there so there my phone is in the little pocket and I look at him I look back down at my phone I look back at him and then I like pulled my wallet out gave him my license and stuff and I was like I told you I didn't have my phone he was not happy and I was like I told you I told you and then I was like, okay, can I put it back down and can I grab my uh, registration out of my glove box? He said yes. Then he went back, looked me up, whatever cops do, you know. And then he came back and he said, okay, be safe, have a good day. He was so mad at me because I fought with him, which you're not supposed to do. But I was also right. And it was probably towards the end of his shift. He just was ready to go home. I don't know. But he was so angry when he found out that my phone was, in fact, in my purse and not on me because there's no way I would be on my phone. I know everyone's like, oh, you're not supposed to be on your phone. I don't get on my phone, but I'm blind in one eye. You guys know this. I'm blind in one eye and my peripheral vision isn't great. It's good enough to drive or it was in this time. And I just never felt comfortable touching my phone, even to switch music. I never did that. I never did that. I never ate while I was driving and I didn't do anything. I kept focused because I was so worried that I would hit someone or, you know, hurt someone. So there was no way I would ever be on my phone. And at the time, I didn't realize what I was, like, it wasn't registering to me that, like, hey, Jade, maybe don't fight with this cop. That could probably get you in so much trouble because I'm running on almost no sleep because at this time I was working a lot. I was working 16 hour days almost every day. If not 16, it was 12 hour days and I only had one day off. So I'm exhausted and I wasn't really thinking straight but after that I got home and I went to bed and I woke up because I had to get ready for my shift so it's like yeah, I don't even know what time it was but I know that 
um, my dad and my grandma were home because I was getting ready to go. And I told them what happened and they laughed at me and they said, good job, Jade. And I was like, no. And like my dad was like, good thing that he didn't like get you in trouble for fighting him. And I was like, I know I'm such an idiot. And, but he just laughed. Like my grandma laughed too. And they were like, well, you were right. But I was like, oh my gosh. Like it, I internally cringe every time I think of that because I fought with a cop. I fought with a cop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like. I was so tired that I wasn't fully here. Like, that was the first time that I'd ever been pulled over. That's the first and only time I've ever been pulled over by a cop. And I fought with them. I was always worried that I was going to be scared. I always thought I would be crying. I'd be, like, so worried and just... Yeah, that, that was not how I was the first and only time. I was tired. I was angry. I couldn't see. And I was, I was like, you, you said... You didn't say anything about my phone at first. You just said that, you know, you thought I was getting to go over the white line. And I said I was trying to make sure that I didn't hit you guys. Because the the roads at this place were also kind of skinny. They're, like, not too super skinny, but they were pretty small. And because there's, like, ditches on both sides, like, you don't really have much of a wiggle room. You gotta, and it was curvy road at the same time. So you gotta, you know, stick to the white line instead of the yellow line. And then when I was like, yeah, I did it because, you know, I didn't want to hit you, he like switched to, I had a phone. So, that is my story time about the time I fought a cop. Don't do that. I'm not very smart. I don't know why I did that. The only other time I've had to deal with a, like, cop with, like, roads or, like, driving or anything, when I was driving, was when I got into a car accident. But that cop was nice. And that's a different story. <laughs> that's another story for a different time. And if you guys want to hear the time that I got into a really bad car accident and that mess, let me know and I'll tell you.